What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to add videos, music, and audiobooks onto your iPod. Now, the main focus of this video is actually videos, um, because if you guys didn't know, there aren't really many good guides online. Even though the iPods have been around for a long time, there isn't really a good guide that shows anyone how to actually install videos and get them running on their iPod. So I'm going to be using the iPod fifth generation. I believe this one is perfect for videos. It's even known as the iPod video. So there you go and then basically all you need to do is go ahead and get your USB cable and connect your iPod to your computer. You must have iTunes installed for this video but the chances are you probably have iTunes installed already. So over on our computer, we have got the three file types right here that I will be focusing on in this video. These are the main ones which people might kind of get wrong. Um, of course, we've got our MP4, which is basically a video file. We can install this as a movie or a music video and it will actually play on our iPod video. Of course, we've just got a normal MP3. I'll show you guys how to add these because it only takes about two seconds. And then we've also got an audio book. Now these are kind of similar to the normal MP3s as they are just MP3 song files, but you actually have to change the setting on them to actually get them to play as an audiobook over on your iPod. So let's start off with the mp3 song file because these only take a couple of seconds. So just make sure iTunes is open and your iPod is connected and all you want to do is go down to the blue done logo and just click on it. Then this is just going to bring you out to the main menu and for this video I would recommend just creating a new playlist. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click right here, we're going to click on new playlist and we're just going to call it playlist 2 or you can call it like playlist 3, you know, whatever you want, the name doesn't really matter. If it's set to films at the top, make sure you just go ahead and set that to music and um, our playlist should be good to go. So there you go, playlist 2. So as I said, we're going to start off with the songs. Let's just drag down our folder. We are going to find our MP3 file. Now obviously support your artist. It's entirely up to you where you decide to get your files from. If you get them from discs like my audiobook, if you get them from the internet, if you buy them on iTunes, it's entirely up to you where you decide to get your files from. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our song and we are going to drag and drop this into playlist too. And it's actually just going to put it in there for us. Now we don't really have to do anything else. Um, all we have to do from here is simply just drag and drop it onto our iPod and it is going to add it into the music section and we're now able to play this as a song. It's as easy as that. So now let's focus on the audiobook. It's very similar. Get your audiobook if it's an MP3 file. If you guys have got multiple, what you can do is hold control on your computer and select multiple files. But we're just going to get our audiobook. We're going to put this into playlist two. We're then just going to minimize out of this. With the audiobook, you want to right click it and you want to go into audiobook info. From here, we're going to go to options. And we need to make sure that the media kind audiobook is selected. It might automatically be on music, so select it to audiobook and just click on OK. And then we can just simply get our audiobook and drag and drop it on our iPod and it's going to put it into the audiobook section. It's as easy as that. Music and audiobooks, very, very easy to put on your iPod. Obviously with the audiobook, you just have to change one setting. Okay, so the last file that we've got to focus on is actually the video file, the mp4 file itself. As I said, it's entirely up to you where you decide to get your mp4s from, but I've got a music video. So what I'm going to do is go over to Google Chrome and I'm going to show you guys the website that we need to use to actually convert this into the correct mp4 so it can be used with our iPods. Because if we drag and drop this and try and install it right now, it's just going to give us an error. So the website that I like to use is called Bear File Converter. I'll leave a link to this website in the description. It's very good. It's online. It's free, which means there's no downloads. You don't have to install any kind of pointless software on your computer. And it's in English, German and Chinese. So if you want to change the language, you can go ahead and do that as well. But as you can see, it converts videos for the iPod Classic Video Edition. So any iPod which plays videos, you can basically use this. So these are all of the formats that um, supports. I'd say Say most people probably use mp4 and um, maybe a few people use WMV I don't know but mp4 is definitely the most popular and the chances are your video is probably already in this format now if your video is not in this format I'd recommend changing it 
So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and before we actually upload our file and get it converted, we need to change the settings so it's the best quality. So video size, we're going to choose 512 by 384. Um, frame rate, we're going to choose 30. And the last setting that we really need to focus on is video quality. If you leave this at original, it's going to look all pixelated and horrible. So we're going to up this to 6000. Now, if you have any problems where the video displays black because the quality is too high, you can set it onto 1000. 1200 or original or default but I think 6000 should be the best quality and it should look pretty good on our small iPod screen. So all we want to do here is simply just click on upload and we're going to browse for the file in our downloads folder. So here it is guys, my song, which is an MP4 format. We're just gonna click on upload and we're simply going to wait for it to upload. Now this should only take about five seconds and when it does actually finish uploading, we simply just have to convert it into these settings and then it's gonna work with our iPod. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on the convert button and as you can see, it's gonna say converting here. Uh, this bit doesn't really take too long. At the most, it might take a couple of minutes. So simply wait for it and when it's finished converting, we can actually download it. Okay guys, so once it's done, all we've got to do is simply just click on the download button and it's basically just going to download the new converted version which is going to basically work with the iPod Classic videos. So let's just wait for this to download, then we can open it with iTunes, then we can set up the kind of like um, video format that we want to choose and then we can actually copy it onto our iPod. So back in my downloads folder, we've now got the original and we've got a new version. And as you guys can see, the aspect ratio is a bit different. It's slightly um, kind of like taller and wider, I guess. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get the original one and we're just gonna rename it and we're just gonna put a one at the end. This is so we can remove the extra MP4 extension from the one that we recently had downloaded. Obviously we only need one MP4 extension, so that is fine. What we're now gonna do is drag and drop this in iTunes and we're basically gonna to select the format for it. So let's just minimize this. Let's just get our MP4 video and let's drag and drop this into playlist two. Now, sometimes when you drag and drop an item, it might not show up. That's because you've got to change between films and music and it should actually show up on one of them. Then what you've got to do is select your video, right click it, go onto video info, go onto options, and we're gonna change it from home video to music video. Now, obviously you can change it to whatever you want, depending on what it is. If it's a film, a home video, TV program, podcast, obviously mine is a music video so that's okay now we're going to click on okay and we're just going to drag and drop this on our ipod now if you guys get any errors when trying to copy across your video that's because um it might be like too powerful to run on your ipod so what i'd recommend doing is maybe like trying a few like lower settings or something but it should be good i'd recommend trying the best quality ones first anyway so there you go we've got our song audio book and um video all copied across perfectly let's go onto our ipod and we can just test everything out Right guys, so once we're back, the first thing we should do is make sure our video works. So what we're going to do, we're going to scroll down to videos and we're just going to go onto this. We're then going to just go into music videos or depending on whatever video type you copied across. Uh, and then you just want to go into all and then you just want to find the video. As you can see, I've got about four on here because I was kind of testing out the qualities a bit just to see which one looked the best. And um, I did actually manage to get a HD video on here, but I tried it with 10 other videos and this was the only one that worked out of 10. So if you're trying to get like a full HD video, the chances are it's probably not going to work. But what we're going to do is play the one that I just copied, which was the froze up music video. So let's just click play on this and you guys should be able to see um, our after a few seconds it will load and play perfectly fine so right now I've got it on widescreen mode and that's kind of why it looks like this obviously if I was to put it on full screen mode it's going to maximize itself out and it's going to fill all of the borders of the iPod so there you go, I'll just let the video play a bit it's basically just some Crash Bandicoot gameplay um, but yeah the quality of it is pretty good I've noticed with the lower quality videos that you can see the pixels and that just looks terrible. Um, but if you just upscale it and copy the same settings that I had, they should actually end up looking pretty good. Um, let me show you the HD video as well because that one looks really good. Um, the only problem is sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes when I load up the HD video, I get a black screen. So it's not really recommended to try this. But if you want to give it a go, I guess you could just go for it. But let me just show you some footage of this one. Um, as I said, it can be a bit glitchy and it also takes a bit longer to work. Um, sometimes it has problems with the brightness as well, so I don't know what's up in this video. Maybe I'll just play it again. 
Okay, so there you go. The video seems to be playing now, and also this is in widescreen mode. Because this is a widescreen video to start off with, if I was to put this in like the normal mode, um, it would basically just look horrible. I suppose what I can actually do is show you guys how to change from widescreen mode to normal mode. Uh, basically what you do, you just go back to menu, you go menu again, you go onto the video settings, and from here you're actually able to change it. As you can see, widescreen, you can set that to on and off, basically depending on whatever you want. Okay, so before I finish the video, if you guys want to look at audiobooks, you just go up to music, and then you just go to audiobooks, and you basically just select it, and it will actually start playing. Um, and of course, music, if you don't know how to do that, you literally just go up to music. <laughs> it's literally as easy as that. I'd recommend going to songs if you installed MP3 files, and you're going to find every single song that you've got on here. So there you go, quick video, simply because every other guide for this on YouTube is just absolutely horrible. It's so out of date, they get you to install these like dodgy softwares and stuff like that it's honestly just a waste of time watching those if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one